Hello and welcome back to another video. It's me, Roy, and we are at my slime farm in my survival world. Um, I just emptied all the slime, but it, it do be a slime farm, okay? It's freaking massive. This is bedrock. It goes all the way up to... I, Lord knows. It's tall. You can see in the sound subtitles that it has slimes. Um, I wanted to do a world tour. Um, this is the AFK spot. Um, so I don't play on this world as much. And, um, yeah, I figured it'd be nice to make sure I have a video of it. So, yeah, here's the slime farm. Pretty simple. I have some pixel art here. Uh, and if we go over here, we have the... Oh, boy. It may be lagging a little bit, but that's natural. We have a tree farm over here. And then there are the logs that I wanted to use. I was going to build a villager breeder up there. Um, as of now, I don't have um, the best villager set up. Uh, my villages are all crammed in that big house there. And uh, we got a little crop farm. And uh, down the hill, I have a regular skelly spawner with a, um, that changes them into uh, strays. Um, so, yes. It's a beautiful world. This is kind of the main area. Everything over there was alley or rosies, except the power lines. And then um, most of this area is actually lit up, which took forever. And as you can see, all the carpets, all the torches are under carpets. Um, one thing about this world is that the end portals did not generate because it was made in the pre-releases. So I had to put the end portal here um, so if we go down there, I have a little sand duper here, and, uh, I did need to do a quick fix to it. Um, I can do the fix now. Okay, so if you're trying to build, if you're trying to build a sand duper in this version, um, it is important that you do this. And then the sand duper should work. Okay. So yeah, I got like a stockpile of all this stuff. Um, man, it took me ages to decorate all this. It's prettier without my texture pack, but whatever. Um, over here we have the power plant. Um, how do we get in here? All right, in the power plant, we have item storage that I have been too lazy to put away. And then in here, we have the, um, the chorus fruit farm. So all the chorus fruit goes here, and I can make end rods easily. Um, I think Shulkercraft made that, probably. Um, and then over this bridge, we have um, a chorus flower farm. And all this other stuff is just for decoration. I wanted it to look like some turbines and some transformers and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. But, um, all right. Since it is night, we will go to my house. I'm not sure how much it's lagging, but. As you can see, it's pretty safe to walk around at night because all the torches under carpets. Um, we go over this bridge. This bridge is probably the first thing I ever built on this world. Um, yeah. Um, I have a raid farm, but I'm not going to fly to it. If you want to see what the raid farm looks like, you can look up uh, uh, Logical Geek Boy. It's, it's way over there, so I'm not going to go to it. But. So this is my primary house, and uh, I've got like, unfortunately this is the best furnace array that I have. Um, it's just like four furnaces. I have like all my extra good tools here. Once upon a time this was my valuables chest. 
or maybe this was. Yeah, this was my valuables chest once upon a time. It's got some netherite, or netherite, but I, I don't really use it that much. Um, that's kind of like my enchanting chest. And uh, the enchanting setups up here, so. We go down. Um, I love this clock. Yeah, like the food chest. My ender chest is all laid out um, somewhere else, but I do. I would have like a completely full ender chest of shulker boxes, but they're all at the um, at the tree, so they're not here right now. Um, and here's the lovely donkey. I use this to bring the villagers' goods from over here. Um, this is kind of the storage room. Um, we got. Some very basic stuff here. This is for, you know, like scaffolding or decoration, and the pearls and lava buckets. I, I don't believe I have too much in the nether. Um, it's kind of cozy though. And um, over here we have the keep. So, I like this um, alternating the tinted glass and black stained glass. It looks really cool. It adds a little difference. Um, so, inside the keep, we have... Up here, we have all of our tools and stuff. So, if there's extra tools, they're all put away in here. Um... And uh, up here we have my starter sugarcane farm. And then here we have the switch for the moss farm. So underneath the ground we have a moss farm. Um, and we just feed the moss back in to make more bone meal. Um, we had a puffer fish in here. He was a killer. Um, eventually he died himself. But I think he killed one of my horses. It was very sad. Over here we have the music disc farm. And uh, just the, the moss farm. I think I just emptied the moss farm. But either way, we continue onward. So this castle was just built to like hide all the redstone. So there's like redstone under this block here. Um, I do like how the water looks dripping from the ceiling. I think that's pretty cool. I'm kind of a grungy. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of this keep. Alright, next we have the iron skyscraper. So how this works is... The zombies bobbing up and down, and that scares the villagers. But I can turn it off by updating the scaffolding. And that pushes those blocks down. So look where those two cobblestone are. And then I flip the lever. Now the cobblestone are up. So, that's the iron farm and the collection area for the iron farm. Right here, goes all the way up the side of the building. In here, we have something magnificent. It's a dripstone and sugarcane farm. I'm not going to turn it on right now because it's... Okay, I'll turn on the top, actually. Um, just to show you how it works, but... The sugarcane will certainly lag things out. Um, so they just sweep by, and they and this this sugarcane farm drops like nine stacks of sugarcane. So I'm pretty good on sugarcane. I might take out some of it and put bamboo instead. Um, and in here we have the snow farm. And then down here is the most cursed thing. Oh my goodness, this was like the bane of this world. My least favorite thing about this world was that my primary source of XP was this stupid zombie grinder down here. Oh my gosh. I hated this zombie grinder with everything in me because it's so slow. Um, I do have like the trap mechanism on top that um, El Mango came up with where it shoots some water and takes them off the top. But still. Thank goodness I found... I even have a, a blaze farm now. 
Okay, guys. Alright. Yeah, so my wife found that for me. That, uh... Oh, I also got a conduit, as you can see. I don't really use it, but... Um... Oh, yeah. This... The reactor here is actually a creeper farm. I just emptied it out for TNT or something, but that's what it is. And over here, you'll see something that I have never seen anyone else do. This is an original design right here. This is a pillager taming setup. So, with um, the right amount of snow layers, you can make them shoot at the villager and they'll never hit them. And you can just boat them up. And they will shoot at the villager and they'll break their crossbows. Um, and it's pretty freaking incredible. As you can see, I have quite a backlog of citizens to put in. I was probably going to make some power plant workers and stuff with them. Um, the next thing, so this is my wife's house and her llama emporium. Uh, the next thing is this, wool world. Now this I definitely have shown on camera when I was showing the piston door. Um, but we're not here for that. Um, the sorting system was done, frankly, the wrong way. I just, frankly, I did everything wrong. And how can I show it? I think I can get up in it right here. There's a ladder. Here's the ladder. Alright. So the way I, I set up the water streams was not correct. Not correct at all. This project took me days and days and days. For no reason. Um, but it is nice to have all the wool I need. Yes. So down here, they're all marked, you know, pink and purple and all such. I think it's cyclical, so it doesn't go in the first time, it'll go around again. Um, compromise. Over there is where the geodes are. Um, next we have the bee farm. So it looks like a little bee here. I think it's out of commission right now. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know why it's out of commission, but... It is, um, yep, all decorated, all pretty, you gotta love it, I got enough honey, and I might have purposely made out a commission because I had enough, um, and over here is the bee breeder, so we have all the, the bees in the little room, I don't want to go in there, let them out, but, yeah, Yes, yes. Alright, I guess I will show the nether. Because I don't want to forget the blaze farm. Oh, over here is our primary mine. I uh, still haven't decorated that. We'll see what happens though. Maybe I'll decorate it sometime. I just don't go mining. That was one of my goals on this world was to almost never go mining. Here we are in the Christian Nether. So, obviously I haven't lit everything up, but... Right here's the Blades Pharmacist Mending. Alright, well... That's about all I got. I mean, there's the raid farm, but I don't really want to go there. So, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, this video was primarily made for me, just so I can look back on my own world. But uh, if you enjoyed something, got any cool ideas, leave it down in the comments. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.